Okay, one thing about um, living in somebody's driveway is, actually there's a couple things. Excuse the mess over here, it's not my mess. Um, of course you should always have a surge protector, so I've already unplugged because I'm fixing to go dump, but staying at somebody's house like this, uh, the only outlet I get is a 110 outlet, so I don't get a full 30 amp usage, and I think it's on a 20 amp power source, so I cannot use my air conditioner. And um, I can use my microwave as long as I turn off fans or anything else in the RV. Um, you know, otherwise it's fine, I guess. In the summertime I use a portable air conditioner, which is not nearly as effective as the roof air, because my roof air is really good and it'll freeze you right out. But, oh well, that's what it's like when you're living for free in somebody's driveway trading um, services. I take care of their dogs for them. I need to get a new spare tire and a spare tire cover. And the other issue is dumping. My pools are underneath right here. That's not my issue. The issue is I have to drive to the dump station. Fortunately, um, I don't shower in here while I'm parked at this house. So, that's weird, I guess that's the way it's built. So, um, so I usually just dump like once a month. My water usage is minimal, just doing light dishes. I don't, um, I cook for them too often. So, yeah, I mostly eat in the house. And when I eat in the RV, it's usually light meals, so I don't have a lot of dishes to do. So, but anyhow, we're off to the dump station, which is about 13 miles away, which in a way is okay because it allows my tires to get some exercise. See you at the dump station. Don't you just love unexpected stuff like this? I had no idea they were going to resurface this road. Nice. I don't remember there being anything wrong with this road to have to resurface it. Well, that's just eight dollars going to work, I guess. Um, gotta hurry up so I can get up here. This is so much fun. I'm out of that. Fortunately, it wasn't as bad as it was. It's a good little travel trailer. You know, really should find an inspection sta station. I really also should roll up my window so y'all can hear me. Um, I should find an inspection station and get this inspected while I'm out. I don't know if I'll do that today or not. I guess it depends on how much time they have on their hands. Because I have the dogs in here and I didn't potty them before I left. It wasn't quite time to potty them yet. I was planning on just going to the dump station and coming right back. So we'll see. I can always unhook and get it inspected later. Also, for those of you that live in Texas, um, motorhomes are exempt from the emissions testing for inspections. So if you're being charged for that, you're being ripped off. You only have to pay for the inspection, but not for, they don't have to do the emissions thing on motorhomes. And it cost me like 15 or 16 bucks or something like that versus whatever fee it is for the full inspection, which I think is 45 or 35. So, there you go. Good information to know if you live in Texas. And we do yearly inspections in Texas. 
So the inspection closed, station closed. Darn it. I missed them. Oh well. And you, you know, oh well. <laughs> This is a really old town. This is um, Rosenberg. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. The inspection closed, the inspection station closed at 3. I was pulling up and they were just leaving. So, no biggie. I'll have it done later. I probably should check all my lights and make sure everything's working right anyhow. You never know, there could be a rear blinker out or something. However, oh, my turn signals are working fine, so they're probably fine. So, hi ho, hi ho, it's to the dump station we go. Okay, I'm pulling in. <laughs> I forgot to take my wind chimes down. Buckets aren't rattling though. Hmm, that's new. So, this is a, um, Rosenberg Plaza, Travel Plaza, and they don't charge to use their dump station, which is good. And when you see it, you'll know why. I mean, it's only dump. There's no water. There's nothing to rinse your hoses off with. It's just dump, but it's free. So I don't complain about free. Where did it go? And it's right here, down yonder. So every YouTube RVer in the world <laughs> seems to want to show you their process of dumping, so I'm not going to be any different than them. So here we go. All my stuff is in this compartment. And I keep a green hose, a short little green hose, so for rinsing purposes or bathing dogs. When I go to campgrounds or what have you which I don't do often, but when I have to, at least it's there. And this is my container that I keep my hose in, so I keep it down there. And in my water hoses, I keep a package of gloves. So I'll open those up, put them on, and get started. And I'm probably going to have spillage because I just found that my gray tank has been left open. <laughs> That's not a good thing, so oh well. At least it's the gray tank and not the black tank. So we'll go over here, open my container, get out the dump hose. And this is an extra long hose. It has two sections. I still have sand on it from Port Aransas. So what I'll have to do is connect this to that, and I won't need the long hose for this particular station because it's a short reach. Hope y'all can hear me. Okay, I'm going to pause it and put this thing together. Okay, so I'm all dumped. There is no garbage container here. I don't want to add to this mess. So I'll just take my gloves and just put them in here and throw them away when I get back to the house. I could take them inside, put them in my garbage, but I'm going to drive off instead. So, and I had a little bit of spillage, and it's just gray water. And some people will probably give me grief about that, but it happens. <laughs> 